And still, the heavyweight champions of the world, Kling Kong and Yukon, back to back national champions. Donovan Klingen, 19 blocks in this tournament. That's most by a UConn player in one single tournament. And he is a back to back champ. Standing by with our Matt Norlander. Another one. Another Champions. one. Look at that. Champions. Show it to the show it to the camera right here. How did you guys do this again? A dominant run, Donovan. Two years in a row. Every single win in the tournament by at least 13 points or more. Your margin this year was bigger than last year. Take me inside. How'd you pull it off? The way we practice, um, we have the best coaching staff in the country. We have four head coaches on our on our staff. Um, everyone's willingness to just buy in and give everything they got every single day. And, you know, just that competitive will and that competitive effort to just go out there and win every possession, win every practice, win every game. When I ask you about the strategy of the game, Zach Eady, a monster. You saw it up close. He had 37 points in a losing effort. Was the way the game played out what you guys had game plan for? If he's going to get his, he's going to get his. But we're going to make sure we shut everyone else down. Take us into the prep and how you executed. Yeah, you know, he's going to make hook shots. He's a dominant player. He's tall. He's strong. So, you know, he's going to make hooks. You know, it's it just don't foul. They told me not to foul. Don't give me the one And just lock up the perimeter. What's it like to play for Dan Hurley? What's it like to play for a two-time national championship winning coach as a two-time national championship winning player? You know, it's the best feeling ever, just knowing that I made the best decision in my life to come here. Um, you know, he's, a, he's the best coach in the country. You know, I love that dude to death, and just happy we did it, man. And what's your message to UConn fans that are going to wait for you back home when you get back home to Stores to celebrate? Stores, we got a long flight tomorrow, but we'll be back tomorrow night. Let's go. UConn is a blue blood. Number six, baby. Back to back. Number six for UConn. One of four programs with six or more titles. Joining UCLA, 11. UK, 8. And UNC with six. They are the first repeat champs since Florida in 2006-2007. As you take a look at the odds to win next year's national title, we always like to spin it forward a little bit. Look at Duke, the favorite there, plus 1,100. Cooper flag coming in. UConn at plus 1,800. But you never want to count out Dan Hurley. He's going to rebuild his roster. Uh, I'll tell you what, Tristan Newton, he'll be going to the NBA. Donovan Klingon will be going to the NBA. Stephon Castle, he'll be going to the NBA. So what's going to be left here in Connecticut? For Dan Hurley and the Huskies. Back here at State Farm Stadium, Hakeem Dermish alongside Avery Johnson and Tim Doyle. And Avery, we always like to do this, right? A, a team wins a title, and then we look ahead to next year. We go, can they three-peat? Can they do it? We haven't seen the roster yet, though. But the blueprint has been placed in stores Connecticut with Dan Hurley. And they can be very selective with the transfer portal because they know exactly the type of player that they're looking for. And they're going to lose quite a few of this players to this uh, to the NBA. Yep. Uh, but again, there's not a lot of players that fit in UConn's culture. But they have a, a quantity of guys, large amount of guys in the transfer portal. What is it, 500 players or more in the transfer portal? Wow. So they can be very selective to pick the right type of guys to plug and play, which will give them the best chance to get back uh, next year. Oh, Caravan will be there, right? Yeah. Samson Johnson? Sure. Sweet. You got a little bit of foundation got some there. pieces. And, um, yeah, there's a culture there with UConn. You know, when I was looking at the odds, I was looking closely. Didn't see Arkansas up there. Who's going to be their new head coach? Who knows who's going to be on their roster? Uh, Cooper Flagg, if you don't know who he is, he's going to transcend the game. He's going to be the most exciting player in college basketball next year. That's why Duke is actually the favorite. But the coach's point, we don't know the roster, but if you want to win and you're in the transfer portal, UConn's got to be pretty high on your list. Yeah, when you talk about coming to a program that's old school and we talked about UConn being a model program in college basketball. I think Avery if the right kid is out there and they hop in the portal and say yeah I, I want to play for you. You're a back to back national champion like I I I I'll take a little bit less maybe NIL money to come play for you because we saw that sort of work at Alabama with Nick Saban. Teams they win titles and kids would come there because and that was before NIL but kids would come there because they know they could develop and and not only develop on a collegiate level but UConn 
for the last 20 years, they've sent a number of guys to the NBA, guys that have had legendary NBA careers, Ray Allen, Kimba Walker, mm -hmm. Rip Hamilton, Rip Hamilton yeah. our guy. So you know you're going to get developed, you're going to get pushed, and that's what I love about UConn. The player that starts out early in the season, by the time they get to the national championship game, he's even better. And if you can get better and better as the season goes on, that growth and development, that's what NBA scouts are looking for. You'd want to come play for Dan Hurley. If I could move, I don't move anymore. I'm 41 when you years played, old. You'd want to come for a guy yeah, like I mean, him. He just he, he really carried over his father's philosophy and style. His dad was, you know, the greatest high school basketball coach ever. And when I watched him tonight, the ball movement, the precision, the teamwork, the discipline, the consistency, that was San Anthony's Jersey City. That's what he did for 30 plus years there in New Jersey. Um yeah, just uh, uh, crazy. You're, you've been drinking the water. Oh, yeah. A long time. I've been drinking the Connecticut water. Yeah, and, I brought and, some with me. And rightfully so. Um, yeah, they're going to be a tough out. I mean, six national titles since 1999. Yep. Six. Six. Mm -hmm. Six titles in 25 years. Dynasty me, UConn, back to back as we celebrate in Stores, Connecticut, and we celebrate here. In Glendale, Arizona, for Avery Johnson, Tim Doyle, and our entire crew, I'm Hakeem Dermish. Thank you for watching our national championship coverage here on CBS Sports HQ. Oh, so, team to three-peat. Who was the last team to three-peat in men's college basketball? It was John Wooden at UCLA, and UConn will try to do that next season. As you take a look at the schools to win three straight national titles, look, the UConn women, they've done it. Why can't the men do it? Hey, it's possible.